For today's lesson, we will be discussing about angles formed by secants. So let's have Theorem 114 or the Intersecting Secants Interior Theorem. So this states that the measure of an angle formed by two secants intersecting in the interior of the circle is equal to one half the sum of the measures of its intercepted arcs. So on the previous video, we already have the theorem concerning the angles formed by secants and tangents. But that focuses more on the secants intersecting on a point outside of the given circle. So this time, the point of intersection is in the interior of the given circle. So to get the measure of the angle formed by the two secants intersecting inside the given circle, so you just have to get one half the sum of the measures of its intercepted arc. So to illustrate, let's have this figure right here. Now you will see we have line AD and line CB, which are secants that intersect at one point, which is point M. Now, notice that this point M is inside the given circle. So, that means um, it is in the interior of the given circle. Now, if you will notice, there are angles formed by the secant. So, first is we have angle CMD. Okay, and the other one is angle AMB. Now, notice that these two angles are vertical angles. And as what we know with vertical angles, the measurements are just the same. So, measurement of angle CMD is just equal with measurement of angle AMB. So technically, the angles formed by the seconds intersecting on the interior point are vertical angles. Now, to get the measurement of this, we have to get one half of the sum of the measure of its intercepted arc. So what are the intercepted arcs of these two angles? We have here arc CD and the other one is arc AB. So to get this, to get the measurement of any of the two angles, what we will do is add. Let's add first the measurements of the arcs. So measurement of arc AB plus measurement of the other arc, which is arc CD. Then divide it by two or get one half of it. Now another pair of angle that we have is angle AMC and angle BMD. Again, these two angles are vertical angles, so that means they also have the same measurement. So, angle A, M, C is equal with angle B, M, D. So, whenever we need to get the measurements of any of the two angles, we just need to get half the sum of the measure of its intercepted arcs. So, this time, the intercepted arcs are arc A, C and arc B, D. So, to get this, we have to add measurement of arc AC plus measurement of arc BD and then get the half of it or divide it by 2. Let's try this example. So, let's say we have here measurement of arc BN which is 100 and measurement of arc AR which is 80 degrees find measurement of angle BDN so we're looking for the measurement of angle BDN now since this angle is formed by two secants intersecting at an interior point then we can get the measurement of this angle by getting half the sum of the measure of its intercepted arc. So the intercepted arcs are arc BN and arc AR. So you have to get half of the sum of the measurements. So we have measurement of arc BN plus measurement of arc AR. 
So all we have to do is substitute the values. So BN, arc BN is 100 degrees plus arc AR is 80 degrees. So simplify. You have 1 half is equal to 180 degrees. Now get half of 180. Then we can now get the measurement of angle BDN which is 90 degrees. So that's it. I hope you learned something and see you next time.